Can I sell my home if I'm behind on my mortgage payment? Let's answer that question. If you're behind on your mortgage payments and you don't see your situation improving, you might be thinking the only way out is to sell your home. But can you? The short answer is yes. That is as long as your lender has not foreclosed on your home yet. The foreclosure process begins once you fall behind on your mortgage payments. Miss just one payment and you may soon receive a foreclosure notice in the mail. Once you're more than 120 days late, your lender has the legal ability to reclaim your home and sell it to recoup its money. And yes, you'll be forced to vacate the premises. Unfortunately, a foreclosure goes on your credit report and can drop your credit score by as much as 300 points, possibly even more. This can hurt your ability to obtain a credit card, auto loan, cell phone plan, and prevent you from qualifying for another mortgage for many years. However, here's the bright side. You'll have until the day that you foreclose, the foreclosure takes place to sell the home on your own. Still, the process of selling your house before foreclosure isn't easy. Here's what you need to know. Whether or not you can sell your house before foreclosure depends first and foremost on whether your home is worth more or less than what you owe on your mortgage. If you've fallen behind on your payments and aren't underwater, meaning your home's fair value is more significant than what you owe on your home loan, you can sell your house and use the profits to pay back your lender. If you choose to go this route, you will follow the same steps you'd usually take to sell a home. You'd find an agent in the area, put your home on the market, accept an offer, and fulfill any contingencies before closing on the sale. Typically, you don't need to get your lender's permission to sell your home this way. However, if your home is worth less than what you owe on your mortgage, you'll need to sell your property as a short sale to avoid foreclosure. The caveat is that your bank has to be on board with this kind of transaction. Here's how a short sale works. Let's say the bid you get on your home is so low that it isn't going to cover the total amount you owe on your mortgage. If your offer is accepted, you're going to end up a short on paying back the lender. That's okay only if your bank has agreed to accept less than what you owe on the loan. Getting your bank's blessing, however, may be difficult since lenders lose money with short sales. They're not always eager to approve these transactions, but some lenders prefer short sales over foreclosures and repossessing homes since owning and selling a property can be huge hassles. Before approving a short sale, your bank will require you to submit some paperwork, including your offer letter and hardship letter, explaining why you can no longer make your mortgage payments. Financial documents such as income statements or medical bills need to be submitted to back that up. Most lenders will also have your home appraised and determine if the offer you received is fair. If it is, they allow the deal to go through. There may be some stipulations on their side. Indeed, lenders will often counter short sales with their demands to raise the bottom line. For example, buyers might hear, we'll accept your offer, but you're responsible for all repairs, wire transfer, notary fees. It's ultimately up to you though, to decide whether you're willing to absorb these extra costs. The good news, your real estate agent can help you negotiate these terms with the bank. A short sale is preferable to a foreclosure as a homeowner since short sales do way less damage to your credit score than a foreclosure does. This means you'll be in a better shape to apply for a mortgage and buy a new home down the road. Also get to stay in the house until the sale is complete. Alternative to selling your home. If you've fallen behind on your mortgage payments but would like to stay in your home, there are a couple ways you can get back on track. Number one is you might qualify for a mortgage forbearance, a process where your servicer gives you a temporary break from your mortgage payments. Think of it as a extended grace period. The second strategy is to negotiate a, a home loan modification, which in that case, your mortgage lender agrees to let you, let you change your loan terms. However, if you choose to notif modify your mortgage and your lender allows you to skip payments temporarily,
These missed payments will be added to your loan's principal to their later meaning this isn't a get out of jail free card and let's walk away from falling behind on your mortgage unscathed. Again, if you have any questions about mortgage or any questions about loans, call the Aver team, 619-651-5808. Check us out on Facebook, check us out on Yelp, and follow our page. We appreciate you, and we'll see you on the next video.